Hey, it's Nomad, and after a long break from YouTube, I'm back, and I'm excited to share all my new videos with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into this week's tutorial. We're building a fishing hut. All right, to get started, we're going to take a look at all the blocks you need to build this. Feel free to pause the video now to make sure you have all the blocks required. All right, so to get started, we're gonna to wanna to set up the base, and this is gonna be the basement for our house as well as the foundation for the walls that sit above it. So to do that, we're gonna start by taking out a rectangle that's nine across, 11 wide, and four deep. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's nine in width. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 back, and then an additional three blocks down. So you should have a rectangle that'll be around this big once we're done. For the sake of time in this tutorial, I am going to use WorldEdit, but obviously if you're not using WorldEdit, this will take a little bit longer. However, it should hopefully be quite easy to do. Once we're done, we're going to have a rectangle that looks like this, and what we're going to do now is just simply place a border of andesite, or whatever block of choice you're using for your basement, um, and do a simple border around on each wall. We're going to stack this up four more times, three more times, sorry until it's flush with the ground. Once we've done that, we're gonna extend this side up one block, leave a three block gap here, and then do the same for all the other sides. Leave a three block gap here as well, and then continue it. So you should have something that looks like this. Finally, for the basement, we're gonna add these two little windows by adding two upside down stairs and an andesite slab on both of these gaps. Once you're done, it should look like this. Now finally, we're going to add the floors for the basement. I'm using strip spruce wood. You can use whatever you like, but we're just going to simply fill in the bottom here until completely coated. All right, now that the foundation is done, we're going to start with the frame of the house. And to do that, we're going to be using strip spruce wood exclusively. So to start, we're going to be adding a nice simple frame around all of this that we just built. And then placing our floor. Again, I'm going to be using strip spruce wood as I'm using that for all the floors in this house, but you can use whatever you'd like for this part. All right, so once we're done with that, we're going to go to each corner and place a pillar that is nine blocks tall. So we're going to do that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then on all four sides, nine. Then after that's done, we're going to go into the midpoint on this side and do another pillar that is eight blocks tall. There should be five gap, five blocks between each of the pillars on these sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, eight blocks tall. It should be one shorter than the corners. Repeat that on this side. And then finally, in the front and the back, we're going to go to this pillar here and go three blocks in and then place another pillar eight blocks tall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once we're done, you should have something that looks like this. All right, starting at the front of the house, it's time to place the horizontal supports. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this pillar here, the eight block tall one, and we're gonna extend it to the side until it sticks two blocks out from the corner pillar on both sides. So we're gonna do that here as well, and then repeat this process on the back. Should look like this. And then next, we're going to go to this pillar here on the corner and extend it all the way back. This time, sticking one out on each side. That's sticking one out. Then we're going to take this pillar and actually do it again on top of it, making it too high. Also sticking one further out from the support. That's done, we're going to go here and place one sticking out there, one sticking out there, and then on the long sides here, place two out every other block. So it should look like this once you're done. Put that on this final side, two out on each end, and we have something that looks like this. 
Finally, the last pillars we're going to need are in the middle up top. So here, we're going to place one there and one there. So there should be two blocks between this. It should not be centered on this block here. Is that three high? Stick it out one. Keep this on the back. So we need two blocks of space here. Three up. Two blocks of space here. And then three up. And stick one out. These are going to be the main pillars for our walls and roof. All right, lastly, we're going to be placing our final floor here, and that's going to be the attic floor. So we're going to come to this pillar here, and just like all the others, place a single layer of whatever floor material you would like to. All right, so our main wall material is going to be stripped birch logs or stripped birch wood. And to do that, we're going to start placing pillars like so, on this side, leaving three blocks of space on the front. And then in this one, we're going to leave a single block of space. Uh, we're also going to fill this in with one row of strip birch log. Should look like this. We're going to repeat this on the back as well. But this time, filling in this part entirely. And leaving the window in on this side. So again, it should be three blocks of space with birch lining the sides. And then for the sides here, we're going to come around to the right side of the house. This is going to be completely filled in with wall. There's not going to be a single window on this side, so feel free to completely fill that in with your wall material. And then finally, on the other side of the house, we're going to be placing full wall on this part here. And then another three block wide window towards the back going around to every side just to confirm. We should have one three block wide window here and one one block wide on the front. On the right side there are no windows. On the back we have the one three block wide window here. And then on this side we have the one three block wide window towards the back. So it should look something like this. First layer of walls are done. I'm going to go up to the second level here. And so what we're going to do is going to go to the side here, one block back from the pillars. There's two there and three here. Same on this side, two there. Repeat this in the back as well. Two blocks there, two blocks here. All right, now that that's done, we're going to go to this middle part here and one forward, so it should be lined up with these pillars. We're going to place three blocks filling in the middle part. With that done, your wall should look like this. All right, so with the walls done, we can finally move on to the windows of the house. Now, to do that, we're going to be needing a bunch of materials. First, we're going to need spruce wood stairs, trapdoors, and slabs. We're also going to need dark oak stairs, dark oak trapdoors, and dark oak fences. And then finally, we're going to need grass or dirt, a hopper, and spruce fence gates. So we're going to come over here, and to start that, we're going to be placing three upside-down spruce stairs, just like so and then lining the top corners with dark oak stairs upside down as well. We're going to follow these two walls with dark oak trapdoors closed so that they're lined against the wall there. And looking up, you're going to place one hopper, and then below that, place two dark oak fences. You're going to be left with something that looks like this. Finally, once we're done with that, we're going to be placing two upside down stairs directly next to the dark oak ones, and placing three trapdoors just like this. On top of those, we're going to place one spruce trapdoor. We're going to repeat this same window on the back side here, doing the exact same steps until it looks exactly like the front. Once that's done, we're going to be placing grass blocks here. And then below that, we're going to place two wooden stairs and a spruce trapdoor. We're going to line the grass blocks with the spruce trapdoors until we fully enclose it, creating a window like there. It should look like this. Repeat this on the front as well. Two stairs below, and then trapdoors lining the side. For the long side here, we're going to be using a similar window, but we're not going to be using a window planter. So instead, we're going to be using two layers of wooden stairs here, and then repeating the same design with the dark oak. Following 
doing that with the same window trims. That's all of our windows done. Now we just add the frame for the door and we do that by adding two stairs, like one upside down and one right side up. Just like that, our windows and doors are done. Next comes the detailing phase, and for that we're using three blocks only. We're going to be using more spruce trap doors, get used to that, we're using them a lot in this build. Spruce signs, we're going to need quite a few of these. And then the spruce fence gates, which I mentioned earlier. So to do that, we're going to do one main design for these pillars. And we're going to first line the bottom of every side of the pillar with spruce trap doors. We're going to do that all around on every single pillar until you've surrounded the house. Once you've done that, it should look like this, and then we're going to do the exact same thing one layer above it with the spruce signs that we have. This is a little bit tedious because you have to escape the window every single time, but I promise you it's worth it. It'll look great once it's done. Once that's done, we can move to the upper edge of the pillars, and we're going to be doing the exact same thing just upside down. So leave two blocks of space, one, two, and then on the third block above, you're going to do the signs again, and then follow that up with the same trap doors. So it should be exactly like this, but inverted up here. here is place a line of spruce fence gates, just like so, open them every single one of them. And then on top of that, we're going to place one more final layer of spruce trap doors. Repeat this on the back as well until both sides are covered exactly like this. time to finish off the pillars and to do that we're going to take our spruce stair blocks and just place them upside down above every single trap door that you've already placed just like so around the entire building once you've done that your main pillars are done now we're just going to do the top one by placing these two upside down spruce stairs on both sides of your building once you've done that congratulations the hard part is done now it's time for the roof detail All right, now that we've done that, we can start the roof. So we're gonna come over to this side here and place two spruce stairs leading out towards the front. Then this, you're gonna place one upside down stair on each side and extend this up four more times, just like so. So go one, two, three, and four. You, do, you wanna end it here and then repeat this on the other side. That, we're going to connect these two to the layer of spruce planks, and that's it. Repeat this on the back side, and then you've got a finished frame. that complete we can start working on the sides here and to do that we're going to go to where we place two blocks here and place one more and then leave a gap place two towards the middle gap and one more it should look like this the gap should be centered on the walls here repeat this on the other side just like the others it's going to be centered on the walls now once we've done that we're going to come over above these gaps go one block back and place two spruce planks two spruce stairs and then a plank in the middle, just creating these little archways. That's done, you should have something that looks like this. Next, it's time for the actual roof. So to do that, you're gonna take your roof material, I'm using brick, and you're gonna start by simply tracing what you've already created. So lining the frame with your roof material. 
following the shape exactly until your roof is completely full. It should look something like this. Once that's done, we'll have a roof that looks just like this, completely filled in and looking good. With the roof done, it's time to move on to the final details of the house. So to start with that, we're going to use spruce wood, spruce trap doors, spruce planks, spruce fences, as well as oak wood, ladders, and signs. And then finally, andesite and andesite walls. The first thing we're going to want to do is build a way up into the house, because obviously right now we can't reach this doorway. So to do that, we're going to fix this by placing six spruce wood right here. Place two upside down stairs like that. And then finally two more spruce wood on top. Once we've done that, we can actually break this block here and place spruce stairs leading up into the doorway. Fill this in with your floor material, breaking any signs that might be in the way. And then we've got a porch on top. Finally, we're going to take some spruce fences and trap doors and place them just like so. Now that we have our stairs up, it's time to start the pier, and to do that we're going to use the same style right here. We're going to place two more trap doors on these pillars, just so, and then we're going to extend it. One, two, three more, just like this. I'm going to repeat the exact same pillar because I'm using trap doors on the sides as well as the top. And using the same stairs in the middle, it should look like this. So you've done that, you're going to flip around to this side here and place more trap doors. And repeat the same pillar design, but this time being two blocks apart from each other. So it should be one, two, well, two of these, repeat process. So you have something that looks like this. Here we're going to leave a three block gap, and this is for the stairs up to the pier, so we're going to just place one right there. And then continue our pillar design every two blocks. For as long as you want the pier to be. This can be 50 meters long, 10 meters long, it's entirely up to you. But just repeat this same pillar design all the way through. Once you've got your pier as long as you like it, we're going to come around to this side here and leave a four block gap between pillars, placing two more just like so. Again, there should be four blocks between. One, two, three, four. With that done, we're going to repeat the same design and go back towards your house with the same two pillar gap like the other side. Completed, you should have something that looks like this. Now for our final details, we're going to want the floor and the fences. So to do that, you're going to take your secondary floor material. This can be the same as the inside of the house, or different. I'm using something slightly different. And you're just going to fill the entire pier in with whatever material you chose. Break any signs that that might be in the way. And continue this for the entire pier. Finally, we're just going to take spruce fences towards all of these gaps here, except for the stairs. Once you've done that, your pier is done, and now it's time for the last part, which is the final details on the house. Now, to do this, we're going to come up to the top here, place a ladder in the center, as well as two signs on each side, repeating this on the front. Ladder in the center, and two signs on each side. Now lastly, we're going to come over to the back and using our andesite walls and andesite block right here and place two andesite blocks, as well as andesite walls leading all the way up to continue through the roof until you have a chimney. And with that last step, we are done with this build, so thanks for following along, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, please let me know in the comments what you want me to build next, and check out my channel for any other videos I'll be posting in the future. Till next time.